This is Mr. Smith, and let's play with podcasting with Canvas. Now, I made a new course that I published specifically for this purpose. You don't have to do this. Matter of fact, I would recommend not doing this. I would recommend having it be a single feed in your relevant class. However, I didn't want to show off student names in this recording, so I made a different course. Uh, with that said, as we are looking through this, there's a few things that we need to do. All of your podcasts will actually be shown in the announcements tab. However, the files, I would argue, should be hosted in the files section. Those are the two sections that we're going to need. Everything else, do whatever you want with. Run your class the way you want to run your class. Now, when I first played with Canvas, I was fascinated with the idea that there are external feeds. This is particularly interesting. And actually, external feeds, you know what that means? That just means you take an RSS feed from somewhere else, plug it in here, and anything that shows up in that other RSS feed that isn't hosted by Canvas or anywhere else shows up here as well, which would be a good way, I suppose, of having an announcement in one location spread to a whole bunch of locations. I think that can work pretty well. That's not the purpose of this particular video. There is this RSS feed right here, which is kind of neat because this is something that a student could subscribe to or a parent could subscribe to, and they would get your announcements. Right now, Canvas in my district doesn't send email announcements to students because email announcements or emails in general from third parties, which in structure.com is listed as a third party, those get blocked. So that's a problem. So RSS is a possible solution. Uh, now, if I click on RSS feed right here, this loads up this gobbledygook. And this is particularly neat because I could take this web address right here. I'm going to copy that go into my feed reader of choice. In this case, I am using feedly.com because it's free. You can log in with a Google account. I'm logged into this using my school Google account. So I imagine students could do the same. And I am just going to go over and click the plus sign right here, paste in that feed right here, press enter. And it says, oh, hey, here's this feed. Here's these announcements. I'm going to click to follow and I'm going to put this in my category I just called Canvas because why not? Actually, it's already added. Fantastic. So what's neat about this is everything that's in the announcement does get posted here for people to see. If I click on this, it's going to show me everything I wrote in there. And I feel safe clicking on this because I don't mention students by name in my announcements. However... If you click on this link, and I am not going to do this right now, if you're not logged into Canvas, it takes you to a login screen. So while this does show your entire announcement to anyone with the RSS feed publicly, it does not take that as a backdoor into your Canvas course. So confidential information, student faces, student reactions, and all that stuff isn't going to be visible unless someone already has access to that class because you've given them that access. This isn't it. They can see it in the RSS feed, but nowhere else, which is, I think, kind of useful. Uh, it's a good mix. Now, this is not a .rss file. This is a .atom file. Why does that matter? In most cases, it doesn't matter unless you want to do podcasting because podcasting needs an enclosure tag. We have a whole bunch of tags. We have author tags, so those are neat, entry tags, link tags, all these wonderful tags, but we don't have any enclosure tags. For that, my understanding is we would need a .rss file. If you don't need a .rss file for that, well, they still don't put it in the .atom file so far as Canvas is concerned, so we're at the same problem. Now, let's go back and find out how we get what we need. Uh, I am going to make a new announcement and I'm going to name this morning announcements because why not? 
Now, you need to put something here or it won't let you post, but what you put here is not going to end up being visible for anyone outside of your Canvas course. In this particular case, I'm just going to say, here's the news. That doesn't really matter either way. And I am going to enable podcast feed. I don't recommend clicking this option right here. Depending on your students, that might be okay. If you create a separate course where there are staff members that are added to the course that you don't for some reason hit the button to make them be teachers in your course, then maybe you'd press that button, but otherwise I just leave that alone. Um, the rest of these, you can decide how you want to do that. That's all fine. I'm going to click save. And you might say, but wait, Mr. Smith, aren't you going to upload anything? No, not to here. I could, but it wouldn't do anything. So I'm going to click save. And now I have made my morning announcements podcast. And it has a podcast feed that will do absolutely nothing because I have no files yet. Now, in files, I do have some files. I uploaded three test files. They're very short MP3s. They're basically me saying, this is a test recording. This is another test recording. This is a third test recording. I kept it simple. I wanted them to upload quickly. Each of these I can have be in my podcast feed by replying to this. Now, I named these pretty simply. You're going to want to name them in a way where the title is obvious based on the file name. So if I named these morning announcements June 1st, morning announcements June 2nd, that would make a lot of sense. File names usually should not have spaces in them, so don't put spaces, put dashes or underscores or something. But the file name is going to be the podcast episode name. So that's kind of important. Uh, now I am going to make a reply and I'm going to say, here's episode one, show notes, and actually that should probably be a capital N. There we go. And I am going to make a bulleted list, point one, point two, and point two point five, because I feel like being silly. Move that over. Okay, and I'm gonna be super fancy, and I'm going to change that from paragraph formatting to heading two. So that's super large, and I should probably capitalize that E also. Now. There's still no file here. You might think, use the attach. That's what I thought. I was wrong. No, instead, we go to files, and you can add more files here by clicking the upload button, and you get this thing here where you can find files and add them in. Actually, you can't even see that because that's a pop-up that's being recorded separately. But basically, you click upload, and you can upload files. You're done. I am going to right-click on test one, and now you can't see the pop-up because of how I'm recording, but oh well. I'm going to pick the option of copy link address. I don't want to save the link. I want to copy the web address for this, okay? Now back over here, I'm going to select this text. It doesn't matter what text you select. I recommend selecting the text at the top just because. And I'm going to click on this link here. Now you might think, oh wait, we can add course links and I could find the file that way. I thought that too. That doesn't work. We need to add it as an external link. I know, it's weird. Right here, I'm going to click where it says link, and I'm going to paste in the link that I copied. Now, notice the formatting for this. We've got the web address for my course. We have this file number right here, and then we have it saying download twice and FRD equals one. Done. Okay, so there is episode one. Fantastic. I'm going to post that reply. All right. Now, there is something in my podcast feed. So I can, if I right-click on this and open it in a new tab, if we look at this, we have a whole bunch of stuff here. But we also have, oh, what's this right here? We have an enclosure tag. That is super important. All right. So I am going to copy this web address right here and I'm going to go to a podcatcher. Now I am using Google Podcasts. Why? Because it's free and you can log in with your school Google account. So our students using Chromebooks can use this. I'm gonna click add by RSS feed 
and I'm going to paste in that RSS file that I have, subscribe, and now I'm subscribed to Morning Announcements Post. Okay, wonderful. This is bare bones. I don't know how to change that image. I don't know if Canvas lets me change that image. And I've got Morning Announcements because that is what I named the whole podcast feed, and then 61 test one that's the file name and here's episode one if i click on this i have my bullet points and you'll notice a lot of the formatting is stripped out but that's okay and if i hit play i'm going to hear myself saying this is a test recording all right so i'm going to go back and let's add another one just because anyone can do something once but if you could do something twice or three times then you've probably figured it out so I'm going to hit reply up here again, and I'm just going to say episode two. Um, now episode two, I'm going to go back to my files. I'm going to right click on test two. I am going to copy that link address. I am going to go back to here. I'm going to select this text, and I am going to click on the link button, paste in that link. Uh, this is going to be a different number right here. Click done. And actually, I'm going to remove this link just to be on the safe side. I'm going to post reply. Episode 2, totally different formatting. I would recommend that if you are using this as a podcast feed, that you do use the same format for each post you make because your students will be able to go to this class and see it if you're posting in the same class that the students are in. And now, if I go back to morning announcements and I reload this... Oh, check that out. We have episode two is now live. It updated almost instantly. And this is not, in fact, a link. Hey, it's me from the future. Well, your past, but me while I was editing this. What was going to follow was me playing around with the RSS feeds and formatting, but basically long story made shorter. If you want to see the formatting of your posts, you use an RSS reader and all the formatting will be there. If you put it in a podcatcher, you're not going to see any of the formatting for the most part. It's going to strip out a lot of the stuff, but people are subscribing to things in podcatchers to hear things and watch things as opposed to read things. So that's not as big a deal. This just saved you many, many minutes of watch time. My understanding is that it doesn't matter if the file you're linking to is hosted on Canvas or not, so long as it's a playable file and it's linked to in your post that you re reply with, then it'll work. However, file hosting is built into Canvas and I like the idea of having everything in one spot. So why not do it this way? So that's the basics. Let me know if you have any questions. If there is a better way to do this, please let me know because I haven't been able to find one yet. I found a few videos on podcasting with Canvas. So I've mostly just been pressing buttons and seeing what works and what doesn't work. Let me know if you found a different button. All right, have fun.